everybody. Thank you for tuning into the channel today. Now, every now and again, just every now and again, you get sent a product uh, which is incredibly useful, very simple, and just sounds amazing. And this is one of these occasions. So uh, Sonic Cake have sent us uh, this pedal to have a look at, to have a play around with. Um, Sonic Cake can, have been partnered with the channel for a long time. They send us a lot of equipment to have a play around with. But for somebody who plays acoustic guitar at gigs, and those of you here in Australia who know me uh, gigging around, you will know that I play acoustic guitar, a lot of acoustic guitar gigs. And uh, it is a constant, constant battle uh, between equipment and front of house systems and in-ear systems. And anyway. It's a constant battle to get a good sound, a good, clean, simple acoustic guitar sound. And so this is where a preamp like this, this is the acoustic guitar preamp factory from Sonic Kick. This is where something like this works as a tone shaping tool, but also as a utility tool for live gigs. And I will explain that to you all later on. Now, I've been playing this uh, Fender at gigs uh, for a year or two now. I've almost put my finger through it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... Always put a little pinky finger through the top of it. And I usually run it on the Piezo pickup. It does have some modeled guitars in it. But I tend to use the Piezo pickup. So, this is what it sounds like by itself. Then with the help of a preamp, and some reverb, it sounds like this. Here it is with everything off. You can hear it's just a massive, massive difference to the sound of a piezo pickup. It really breathes some life back into your acoustic guitar. Um, now, it has reverb built in. I run mine particularly wet, as you can hear, but this is how much it's actually got. Lovely lush reverb. So I would normally run mine pretty wet. At gigs, I would normally run it around there. Uh, right, now, it also has treble, bass, and middle. Heaps of bass. Heaps of control over the treble as well, which is awesome. Copyright strike for me? No, not this time. So depending on what size pick you use and that sort of stuff, if you use your fingers, uh, you'll need to play around with the EQ a bit, and that's beautiful to get to your, your string attack or your pick attack, or if you're slapping and knocking, you can get more bass and treble and stuff out of it. So it really, really helps to show your tape and to shape your tone, and they're really sort of powerful uh, controls, which is awesome. So that's those three: uh, bass, metal, treble. Then there's the volume, of course. Sounds like I'm clipping the channel on my uh, audio interface there. Sounds like it's got about 6 dB of boost, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Man, I could just play around with this thing all day. Now, 
Besides it being a tone shaping tool uh, with the bass metal treble, the volume, and uh, the reverb on there, it also has some utility stuff, which for me as a gigging professional musician is incredibly important. So the most important thing for me is that it gives me the ability to split my signal. So I have my normal guitar output, which I can send off to the front of house or to my PA system or whatever I'm doing, but it also has a balanced XLR output. Now, why this is amazing is because most of these days run in-ear rigs or we play with bands that have in-ear rigs. Um, so what you can do is you can send off one pristine signal to the front of house and you can send off a second pristine signal, perfectly balanced for your in-ear monitors or whatever you're doing. So. That alone is a massive selling point for me. The, the fact that you can split your signal in two and get it out of there is absolutely brilliant for a gigging muso. Now, the other thing is, is when you're in a venue with lots of subwoofers, acoustic guitars, those of you that know already, you know, but those of you that don't know about acoustic guitars, they vibrate at a certain frequency and that's normally around 100 hertz, sort of 90 to 100 hertz and a lot of subwoofers are producing that sort of 120, 130 and below. So if you stand anywhere near a, a subwoofer on a big stage, you you, you basically, you're, uh, you get this really low resonant feedback. Now, this has a notch filter on it. where you can select the frequency that is feeding back and get rid of it. Now I've tried to generate some feedback before I started shooting and I couldn't do it. I just don't have enough power in my studio monitors. So. So yes, the notch filter does affect your tone, but effectively what it does is it, it selects a very sharp EQ and removes it. So if you know that you're getting feedback around at 100 hertz, you can drop the notch back to about 100 hertz and it will just scoop out the EQs on that frequency and almost completely eliminate any chance of you getting feedback. And for those of you on big stages, it's a godsend to have a notch filter built into a preamp like this. Now the third thing, that makes this uh, a great gigging pedal for any acoustic guitar player, <laughs> is it's got a ground lift on it. Now, for those of you who don't know, sometimes if you're sharing a PowerPoint with a power amp or a refrigerator, you might be playing in a pub or a bar or a venue or something that has noisy compressors in there, fridges and freezers, uh, pumps to pump beer lines and stuff for another one, um, the uh, post-mix Coke drinks and stuff, they're incredibly noisy if you're on the same circuit as those. So what the ground lift does is it, normally will eliminate any hum for you that you've got coming from your uh, guitar. I'm turning it on and off. And of course you can't hear any difference because I don't have a, I'm in a studio and the power here is incredibly clean and I don't have a buzz. So I can't show you, but trust me, having a balanced XLR output, having a ground, switch and a ground loop switch and being able to uh having a variable notch filter in there is just going to be an absolute godsend for so many acoustic players so besides that overall it sounds great i'm normally a pretty scooped uh scooped mid sort of acoustic player Again, with the turned off. Very, pretty lifeless. I mean, it's a typical piazza pickup sound. You can hear how the preamp breathes life back into it. Well, there you 
there you have it. This is the acoustic guitar preamp factory from Sonic Cake. This is an absolute must have if you are an acoustic guitar player like me. Um, if, especially if you're doing loud shows, uh, festival shows, large pubs and venues and this sort of stuff. This guitar pedal is an absolute must. I can't, I can't see anything negative about it at all. Just everything on there is useful. It's going to be an amazing tool. In addition to my pedal board, this is actually going on my pedal board. Um, and I'm going to let this take care of all my preamp and reverb stuff rather than the HX stomp. So that's going to be... Interesting to see how we go. So anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, Sonic Cake, for sending this to us. You've been a great supporter of the uh, channel for a long time. Um, uh, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. If you like this sort of content, it's absolutely free to you, and uh, it helps us uh, bring you more stuff like this. Cool pedal from Sonic Cake. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.